going on guys showing you the snare serpentarium and today i'm just chilling out with my male chinese beauty snake he's actually in shed now he's feeling a little bit more um, upset about everything but i just wanted to quickly show him off and then i'm gonna get him back into his uh, his setup so these in my opinion are the most underrated locality of beauty snake um, you can't see his full colours now because he is in shed, obviously. Um, I did do a quick little video on him the other day if you want to see his full colours. Um, so just check that out if you're interested. These are probably the smallest locality of the booty snakes, uh, the Chinese. And they're probably also the most underrated. These guys will get anywhere between 5 and 7 feet. Uh, it's typically on the smaller side though, to be honest with you, most of them maxing out at the 5 foot mark, maybe 6 foot. They don't get anywhere as near as big as the Taiwan booty snakes. Um, they're not as full bodied either, or heavy set. They, they're just like corn snakes as far as, uh, as far as size, or like big corn snakes then f as far as size. Um, once you get them out they're lovely and calm like you can see this guy even though he's in shed he's nice and calm now I've had him out for a little uh, little minute or two they are absolutely gorgeous snakes and um, they've got a very busy pattern to them there's a lot going on there they've got a nice yellow glow to them as well um, a little bit of iridescence as well but not too much um, not as much as some snakes like your, uh, your black your black African house snakes for example but there is a little bit there uh, yeah so what else can I talk about with these these guys as they're the smallest of the booty snakes they don't need as big as the uh, as the tie they don't they don't need as, as big of a setup they are a very interesting species to keep I noticed that when I go in there uh, in the setup, first of all, these guys they wag the tail about like they're rattling the tail of me um, as like a defense mechanism, <laughs> and they they do seem to do a lot of false strikes as well. They, they don't actually try to bite me, but I find them to be really calm after a couple of minutes. Um, and I one thousand percent would recommend these for anyone. A beginner could definitely start out with one of these, or maybe as your second snake. They're very, very interesting to be honest with you guys. I can't I can't rant and rave about them enough. With the Chinese, there are some morphs available. My pair is actually a hat albino pair. You can get calicos, um, there are some other morphs as well that I'm I'm not too um not too familiar with all the morphs, but there are there are morphs of them. They're very rare and hard to get hold of in the UK. I had big big problems trying to get hold of my pair but luckily I did manage to find a breeder and luckily it was a breeder that I've already dealt with in the past but yeah so far I'm really impressed I'll, uh, I'll do a more in-depth care video once I'm more confident on their care but just to tell you real quick they don't like it too hot okay I wouldn't keep them uh, the same as most rat snakes they like it a little bit cooler, a hot spot of around 88 degrees Fahrenheit and then you're cooler and cooling down to probably the low 80s, mid 70s and they're happy enough at that temperature. A night drop is, is fine with these, you could just knock your heat off at, source off at night and they'd be happy enough plodding on with that and they brumate in the winter then. So that's all I'm going to say today guys, um, but I mean they get a bad rap for being really nippy, really rambunctious and bitey, but look how calm this guy is, do you know what I mean? And and this this guy is the more stressed because I have not got him, he is in shed and he's only a youngster, so you can imagine how, how much more tame these will be by the time I put some more work in and they grow on a little bit more. So thanks for watching guys, um, yeah I can't recommend these enough, I really am over the moon with them. <laughs> but thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe if you like the video.
you liked the video, like the damn video, smash the notifications icon, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.